Attention. There's a feature that came out in Photoshop CS6 that I think kind of snuck by a lot of people. Um, it, it has to do with this whole content aware technology that you might have heard of over the years and uh, really powerful stuff. Um, essentially content aware means that it, it it's aware of the content. No, uh, it means that Photoshop is, is aware of everything that's around it when it's doing something. Okay. So it's not just going to look at one specific area, but instead it's going to look at it, the, the total surroundings. It's really a retouching type of a thing. And I don't mean portrait retouching. I mean, just overall cloning, healing, removing things from a photo. That's really where it comes in. So you're going to find it. Uh, there's the spot healing brush, which is the top tool that you'd see inside the toolbox. Well, when you click and you hold down on that, you're going to come down here. You're going to see something called content aware. Okay. And so it's content aware move is essentially what we want here. And what we're able to do is we make a selection. Okay. You just take, take the little arrow and you just start drawing around whatever it is you want to move here. Okay. And you just start drawing around it. And I always give it a little bit of extra space here just to work with. All right. So you have your selection right at the top. You're going to see these, this thing called adaptation. All right. So what this means is, is this is how it's going to adapt to the new area. Do you want it to be very strict? Basically saying, I, I want it to make sure when you adapt it to the new area, hold as close to this selection as possible. Or do you want it to be very loose where it says, Hey, you know, you can look all around this, this, this current selection right now and figure it out yourself. You know, you, but you got a lot more leeway to do it. What I always do is I choose medium. Okay, I choose medium and you're going to see here you're not stuck with it. And that's what's pretty cool about this. It's a very different technology in Photoshop. But I'm going to take it and let's let's say, you know, she's right now. She's just beating the, this guy a little bit. Let's we're going to she's going to kill him. Okay, so now she's way up here. All right, when we're done, we just let go. And you're it's going to think for a second here. There's, there's 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 some there's definitely some computing going on in the background here. And and there it is. She has now moved to an entirely different location in the image. Um, the thing is here, let me undo for a second. Let's say that didn't work. OK, so let's say here I'm going to undo. And in fact, let's let's undo. Put her back here. Let's take this back over to very loose. OK, and we'll move her over here. And we'll take a look. I have I have a feeling that she may lose an arm or a wheel from the bicycle, but I'm not positive. Well, it's not horrible. The the wheels got a little bit flattened. She didn't lose an arm, which does happen sometimes when you have very loose. Um, she didn't lose an arm, but the wheels got a little flattened. You can see they're they're not circles anymore. So we'll come back here. But here's what's cool about it. So I move it. I have very loose turned on, and I move it. And it, again, it'll take a second here. But before I do anything, if I don't like the results when it's done, oh yeah, look at that one. See, now we have like a triangular wheel on the back. And that's the thing about this tool is it works different every time. So if you don't get the results you think you should the first time, give it a try again. But we'll come up here to adaptation and I'll come down here and I'll choose very strict and it'll automatically update. As long as I don't do anything else, as long as I don't deselect or do anything else with it, it'll automatically update. All right, very strict is probably going to leave a little line between the sky because you see the sky was probably a little bit of a different shade here than here. So then I can come over here and I, I know just from doing it before that medium happened to have worked the best in this situation. So we'll change it here to medium. But that's what's cool about it is you can pick one to start off with, which I usually just use medium. But after the fact, after you make the move, you can still come up here and you can change it and it'll update it on the fly. All right, so I'm just going to deselect here, and you see she is now moved to an entirely different part of the image. Pretty cool stuff. Now, if you come up here to the top, you'll see you can change move to extend. Um, extend has a couple of different different types of uses for it. Uh, for example, let's just say let's say I wanted to change the the whole dynamic of this image. I could go to select all, all right, and I could move this to the left. All right. I don't want to necessarily want to cut him off. So I'm just going to put it to the left right here. And so what would happen? Well, if I, if I wanted to really have him on the left side of the frame, okay, what would I have to do? I have to crop the image and crop it. So 
you know, go back. Let me uh, undo here for a second. And I'd show you what I'd have to do is I'd have to take my, my crop tool and I have to crop it like this, but now I'm losing space in the image. Right. And that's not really what we're looking for. So that's where a tool like this comes in. Cause I can select the entire canvas, move it over like this. Okay. And then watch what happens. You're going to look at the seam over here. That's, that's the biggest part to pay attention to here. Cause essentially what I'm doing is extending the canvas here. But if you look at this seam right where the, the two parts meet, okay, cause I basically, it almost looked like I was just copying and pasting, you know, part of the layer. But when, when it's done, you're going to see that it goes in here and it figures this whole thing out and it makes that whole transition look better than it did. If I were to just copy and paste it, there you go. See, see how it changed that. So deselect and, and now it's pretty much seamless. You can't tell that I extended this over and I took this whole part, this whole part area, this whole area is basically fake, right? Cause we extended it over. So that's what the content aware extend does versus content aware move, which is what you would do if you just wanted to take one part of an image and move it somewhere else. Okay. Great stuff here, folks. Definitely give it a try. If you have, it's in Photoshop CS6, definitely worth a look. My name is Matt Kluskowski. Hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you again soon.